So let's see how to use this cracked glass effect inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So once you download this effect pack, just unzip it and you will get this folder over here and just open up that and you will find these folders inside it. Now this is the Mogart folder. If you open up that, you will find all of these different resolutions. It has 4K resolution, Full HD and vertical post resolution and square resolution. So open up depending on your need. I'm going to use this Full HD version. So double click on that and you will find 10 different Mogart files over here. So now let's see how to install them. So first open up Premiere Pro and then just go to Windows and make sure this Essential Graphics is checked. And over here you are in this Browse tab. Now select all of them and drag and drop in this section. Now as you can see, they will be installed over here. Now you can drag and drop any glass effect over here. Now you can select this uh, mobile file in the timeline and from this Edit tab, you will find all of these settings. Now first let's add a media over here. So I'm just going to drag and drop a video over here in this media tab over here. So once you do that, now as you can see, it has been added and a glass effect has been applied. Now if you want, you can turn on this crack transition in. If you do that, uh, it will start from normal and then the crack will happen. And then you can open up this glass effect for further customization. You can increase the size or you can, if you want, you can decrease the size. As you can see, you will get a very unique look. And it has other effects like this disperse effect and horizontal refraction it will increase the refraction over here and then uh, this is very important field over here so this is called field of view over here you can make this one vertical field or diagonal field and you can also change this field of view amount like so as you can see it gives a very unique look and in this field of view center you can change the break center so if i just move it over here let's go to the left top corner as you can see like so and over here you can click this button to get a unique look so with this couple of steps you can create your customizable look and then this is the glass edge if you turn off that as you can see there is no edge now you can turn on that you can increase the intensity if you want you can change the color etc and this is the glass smudge effect if you turn off that it will be completely clean and you can also turn on the vertical and horizontal smudge over here and you have intensity amount etc edge blur effect so if you just turn on that, it will show where the blur will happen. It will happen uh, in the outside of this white shape. If I just increase it, now as you can see the blur is happening. You can change the size, position, etc. Turn off that, you will see there is a blur effect. That's basically it. Uh, in the same step, you can drag and drop any crack effect and use it depending on your need.